Anthracycline, Wikipedia article audio. Anthracyclines are a class of drugs used in cancer chemotherapy extracted from Streptomyces bacterium such as Streptomyces pachydias var. Cesius. These compounds are used to treat many cancers, including leukemias, lymphomas, breast, stomach, uterine, ovarian, bladder cancer, and lung cancers. Medical Use Mechanism of Action The anthracyclines are among the most effective anti-cancer treatments ever developed and are effective against more types of cancer than any other class of chemotherapeutic agents. Their main adverse effect is cardiotoxicity, which considerably limits their usefulness. Use of anthracyclines has also been shown to be significantly associated with cycle 1 severe or febrile neutropenia. Other adverse effects include vomiting. The first anthracycline discovered was donorubicin, which is produced naturally by Streptomyces pachydias, a species of actinobacteria. Doxorubicin was developed shortly after and many other related compounds have followed, although few are in clinical use. Anthracyclines are used to treat various cancers and as of 2012 were among the most commonly used chemotherapeutic agents. Doxorubicin and its derivative, epirubicin, are used in breast cancer, childhood solid tumors, soft tissue sarcomas, and aggressive lymphomas. Donorubicin is used to treat acute lymphoblastic or myeloblastic leukemias, and its derivative, idorubicin is used in multiple myeloma, non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, and breast cancer. Other anthracycline derivates include nemorubicin, used for treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma, pisentrone, used as a second-line treatment of non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, sabarubicin, used for non-small cell lung cancer, hormone refractory metastatic prostate cancer and platinum or taxane resistant ovarian cancer, and valrubicin, which is used for the topical treatment of bladder cancer. Anthracyclines have four mechanisms of action. Anthracyclines can cause cardiotoxicity. This cardiotoxicity may be caused by many factors, which may include inhibition and slash or poisoning of topoisomerase IB in cardiomyocytes, interference with the reanodine receptors of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, free radical formation in the heart, or from buildup of metabolic products of the anthracycline in the heart. The cardiotoxicity often presents as ECG changes in arrhythmias, or as a cardiomyopathy leading to heart failure. This cardiotoxicity is related to a patient's cumulative lifetime dose. A patient's lifetime dose is calculated during treatment, and anthracycline treatment is usually stopped upon reaching the maximum cumulative dose of the particular anthracycline. Cardiotoxicity There exists evidence that the effect of cardiotoxicity increases in long-term survivors, from 2% after 2 years to 5% after 15 years. In addition to staying below the cumulative doses, various prevention measures may be employed by the oncologist in order to reduce the risk of cardiotoxicity. Cardiac monitoring are recommended at 3, 6, and 9 months. Other measures include the use of dexrazoxane, the use of liposomal preparations of doxorubicin when appropriate, as well as the administration of doxorubicin over longer infusion rates. Neurotoxicity Dexrazoxane is a cardioprotective drug that is sometimes used to reduce the risk of cardiotoxicity. It has been found to reduce the risk of anthracycline cardiotoxicity by about one-third, without affecting response to chemotherapy or overall survival. 
the potential adverse effects of dexrazoxane are not known. At least one study which found lower verbal memory performance on tests of immediate and delayed recall suggests that anthracycline may increase the risk for developing chemo brain. Donorubicin was first isolated from Streptomyces early in the 1960s by groups in Italy and France, each of which published in 1963. Doxorubicin was discovered after a strain of Streptomyces S was mutated to produce different compounds. History Effort soon began to develop derivatives with better activity and less cardiotoxicity. Most of these derivatives were made by tweaking compounds produced by bacteria, or by modifying the bacteria themselves. Amrubicin was the first derivative created by de novo synthesis and was first published in 1989 by scientists from Sumitomo. The liposomal formulations of donorubicin and doxorubicin are less toxic to cardiac tissue than the non-liposomal form because a lower proportion of drug administered in the liposome form is delivered to the heart. Longer infusion rates will result in a reduced plasma level and a much lower left ventricular peak concentration. <laughs>